<sighs> so tonight I am cooking dinner as I said. Try to make dinner, you know, twice. Um, not twice a week. Try to make it at least for two days because we have a nice size family, you know, five people. And to me, it just makes sense to cook two days. That's one of um, our strategies that'll kind of save some headache on our end. Um, so here's some of my ingredients. I'm going to make my version of chipotle rice bowls. Just trying to make something quick and easy. That shouldn't take me a whole bunch of time. Um, and, and just to make something that, that we all can eat and munch on for the next couple of days. So here are my ingredients. You know, you got your cheese, your Mexican cheese, shredded lettuce, easy. I could have bought it and chopped it up. Didn't feel like it, so caught some lettuce. Um, this is a lifesaver, uh, chicken fajitas uh, by, uh, this is Member Mark's version. They have it at uh, Walmart as well. Um, the bigger bags come from Sam's Club, so get a couple of these, making it easy. Um, I could fry uh, grilled chicken or whatever, kind of like Chipotle, but again, just trying to make an easy prep meal for us. Corn, um, Fiesta style and white corn and black beans. Um, and then I have a Chipotle um, seasoning that just gonna spread over the chicken. So as I said, this is gonna be a really easy prep really easy meal for the fam so that we can chow down. Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot all about this. I need this. Um, this is my cilantro that I made the other day because um, we always use cilantro. We love uh, cilantro, lime, rice, similar to Chipotle, so I always hated buying cilantro and then it's already bad by the first week or whatever. So I saw a recipe, I think on Pinterest and actually cooked the cilantro that I bought a couple days ago and it came out pretty good. I have this like this whole bottle full of cilantro as a dry season. So I kept it in the refrigerator uh, just to be on the safe side, but we definitely gonna use some of this today with the rice, got my rice already done, got the chicken over here. Um, so it should be pretty easy to make it happen. Love a little, little bit of fresh lemon. Not fresh lemon, fresh lemon or fresh lime. So I just gotta lime this go around. We'll have lime and lemon with my rice. So what I'm doing right now is old school with mama talking. Just rolling in your lime so that it softens it up. Make it a little easier when you cut to get the juices out. And the way I was taught to cook, just by watching my mom and grandma, and of course, picking up ideas on Pinterest, but cooking is just a lot of feeling, a lot of love. Sometimes measuring, sometimes not. This, I'm pretty much just going off my dome <laughs> from the top of my head, just because I know it'll come out right. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to be <laughs> boasts, but I haven't, I don't think ever made a bad meal, because I guess if it comes out, I mean, granted, you make a bad meal, but if it's starting to come out bad, you can always fix it. Uh, rinse out my cans. So I can put them in recycling. Make a recycling all gross. Season, as I mentioned. So, where's my 
Again, just, these are just two different types of rice, Mexican rice and white, I mean, Mexican corn and white corn. Um, just a good flavor. Um, Mexican rice just has a little added extra pepper and makes it good. And then the white rice is just sweet. Um, again, similar to Chipotle, not exact, which is cool. It's just my own take on Chipotle bowl. So I'm gonna drain some of this liquid out. I'm going to turn down my pan because I can see it, I can smell it. The olive oil is kind of a little too hot, which you don't want. So I can go ahead and take that off and drain this and put this in the microwave. No strainer needed, just old school using a paper plate to kind of drain it. If you have a strainer, by all means, use it. I'm gonna quit because it's late. I wanna cook for two days and I want to get in bed. Seems like I'm going heavy on the butter. It's a half a stick, but it's a lot of corn as you can see. So just butter, you know, butter naturally gives a little bit of flavor and just a little bit of kosher salt on the top. Let this cook, probably like for five minutes. It should be good. I mean, it's corn, it's already pretty much done. A little bit of kosher salt, butter, as it melts in, it should be good to go. Put this in, I'm gonna put it in for six minutes. And that's just a guess, I mean, you know, when you do frozen vegetables, it's usually like five minutes. And this is already ready to go. Figure six minutes should be all right. And again, I am a person that loves to clean or keep everything clean while I cook. It's just the nature of me. Um, I know people who don't and it's cool, but uh, if you see me prepping, it's really not me trying to do anything different than what I normally do. I just clean as I cook, cook as I clean. <laughs> Chicken fajitas is already cooked. Just have to unthaw it. I'm gonna use my cutting board to cut these up and put these right into. I think I will use. This is one of my Tupperwares just put the chicken in here so I can cut it up a little bit and get it going on the stove. Thank you. 
okay, not really sweet. You definitely have the kick to it. Um, roasted chipotle says it's medium. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar just to doctor it up a little bit because I, our family, I mean, we like sweeter sauces, sweeter rubs. So a little bit of brown sugar uh, helps sweeten this up a little. So then for the time, I would maybe put it in a bowl and put the brown sugar, let it simmer, whisk it up. But I'm going for quick and easy. So I'm going to add the brown sugar as I'm cooking. Corn is done. Ah, easy enough. Got my corn, got my beans. It says it's already rinsed, but I always rinse my lettuce again. So it's just gonna be really simple adding it to a uh, container. And these are to go containers. I mean, I highly recommend a lot of people make toss them, but like when you go to Chick fil A or places where you have salads and stuff, we always keep them because it makes it good to. Not only store food at times, but it makes it good too for when you have parties and you know you got people coming over and taking food with you with them, so you don't mind them taking something because it won't be returned. <laughs> so I guess I'll use two of these and just put in the lettuce. I won't stuff it all in there. And um, I love these tops because as I rinse the lettuce off, they were for Chick Fil A salads. As I rinse the lettuce off, they have holes in it, so I got to rinse the lettuce off turn these over in the sink and he'll be good to go to drain after rinsing the lettuce off. And they'll be good to go. Hopefully you can see it. So I can just leave that over right in the sink. There's nothing in our sink right now. Leave that right over while I continue to do everything else I gotta do and come and grab them in a little while. The water will be drained, then we are rinsed off and get that in the refrigerator. So it'll be good to go for tomorrow. I like my chicken with a little bit of char on it, so I may let it stay in there and simmer down to where the water will kind of leave it. And I'll just leave the pan kind of dry a little bit to get a couple crisp edges on the chicken. As I said, the chicken's already cooked, so it should it should be pretty good. 
really easy of just getting that little char on there and kind of letting this chipotle flavor seep into the, the fajita chicken already. This recipe is very simple with the rice. Whether you choose white or brown, sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's white. It's just a matter of adding cilantro, <laughs> adding lemon and lime, a little bit of olive oil, and some kosher salt. Um, I think you could do olive oil or butter. I mean, I think it's just, I don't, olive oil is just so clean. I love just the way it tastes and it's, it's not too heavy at times like butter. So I'm gonna make this cilantro rice real easy. My white rice is already, the instant rice already done. Uh. So yeah, it's starting to dry out. The water's starting to dry out. So the chicken should be good. And as I said, it's gonna just get a tiny bit of crisp on it as it dries out. So I'm gonna keep it, keep it up on high. Cooking at home, don't mind the same utensils sometimes, as long as it's not, you know, obviously meat, raw meat, but that's already cooked. So we should be good with our rice and everything. And from here, it's pretty simple. Got my cilantro. I'm so happy that this turned out good. Um, as I said, I hate wasting cilantro when we buy it and then it's only, you know, good for a day or so. And then it stays in there and just gets bad because you don't use it. But this is my cilantro that I made from scratch. I have a video about me making the cilantro too, which is cool. So I'm gonna be pretty liberal with this since I can. Got my cilantro. That should be good. Again, sorry I'm not using, you know, tablespoons and stuff. I'm just really cooking with feeling and I know I do it by taste. So it's better if anything to add a little than a lot. So then you can always compensate if it needs more season or whatnot. You wouldn't think you're for cilantro and lime, right? But yeah, lemon and the lime together makes a good kind of balance. So, as I mentioned, olive oil, just a little bit. Hold all the ingredients together. I will really clean. And then that's a lot. Last but not least, the lime. Bingo. Oh. Ooh, that has some kick. My youngest is probably not gonna like that. She's gonna be like, it's too hot, Dad. I hope this should be okay. 
you can drink some water with it. Sometimes she's a little adventurous, sometimes she's not. <laughs> so we'll see how Ava likes it some more. Sorry, tell I probably want a little bit more cilantro up here just so looking at it, seeing what it looks like. Just like taste alone, I feel like the salt is good. I could probably add more of this lime, but do I want to for anything else? Uh, maybe put a little some chicken. this in the sink and dang it I missed <laughs> anyway I cleaned up that mess later but put it in the sink because you know it's good to put on the garbage bowl <laughs> fruit so yeah I'm gonna use the rest of this line I was thinking about saving it maybe for the next go round sometimes I do that or save it for another dish but it's all good done put this in the refrigerator so that it's good to go for tomorrow and i am getting my butt in bed because it is late and of course got work and getting the kids all ready for school and stuff tomorrow so i think that's about it until next time